How and where did you get started? And how old were you? That's the million dollar question. You know, when people ask, how long have you been doing this? My rebuttal always is, well, if I tell you that, it's going to give away my age. And most people laugh and say, okay, touche. And they uh, get sidetracked and ask another question. Uh, how long have you been doing this and how old are you are two questions I've been asked through my whole entire career of being a tarot card reader. And it both puts a knot in my stomach and makes me laugh because it, I thought at one point in life those questions would stop coming. And there's a funny story that connects it, which begins with my origin. I mean, if we want to be very particular about when did I start doing this professionally, it was a long autumn day when me and my two best friends got ourselves into Manhattan, but could not get ourselves out, which meant we spent all of our money and we couldn't hop the turnstile anymore like you used to be able to do in the 70s and 80s because in the early to mid 90s, they started putting policemen down in the train stations and we needed to take the, the path train back to Hoboken. So we figured if we went to Christopher Street, which we spent the whole day in the village anyway, uh, we thought maybe there wouldn't be a cop there. Well, however, there was a cop there and he wasn't letting the three of us get by no matter how cute and young we were. And uh, so we had to go back in the street and figure out, well, were we gonna swim back home to New Jersey or were we gonna beg for money? And then two of my best friends, these gals are sassy and savvy and smart. Well, they decided to pimp me out on the corners of Hudson and Christopher Street, screaming, this guy knows how to read palms, he'll read your palm for $5. And we amassed a little bit of a small group and we made enough money to not only get home that night, but to also uh, get us a large pie pizza, a couple of drinks, and um, share some of our good fortune with some of the, uh, the you know, the Christopher Street uh, community that used to hang out down there. It was, you know, that, that was a, it was a wild scene in those days. So we shared the good fortune for sure. And that's what taught me at that moment, wow, if people are interested in hearing what I have to say when I do this and they're willing to pay me. So I have to share the good fortune. So that's always been my thing from the beginning to always share the good fortune with this.